Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Bead Gallery, and we're just going to do a couple of uh, sound checks, and we'll be right with you. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Welcome. It's Saturday, March 23rd, and we'll be with you in one minute. You're on. You're on, Jamie. We're all on. <laughs> hello. Ha. Oh, hello, ha. We make up our own home. Hey. I think someone was using my speakers. <laughs> that might have been me. Can you please give me the camera? I'm excited. Let me know when we're on. And you are on. Hi, everybody. So, as Teresa will soon find out, because she's coming to Hawaii. And as Debbie knows, sometimes these shows are a little crazy. So this morning, I started prepping at like 7.30, right? And the show's getting closer and closer and closer. And I'm like, oh, my God. My anxiety and my stress as I try to get everything onto the website and all the documents. So I don't even remember. I think I brushed my teeth, but I definitely didn't brush my hair. So I was like, it's a hot day. I'm going to show you. I'm all a necklace. And I'm also thinking about lowering the camera a little bit because I am evidently not growing any taller over the last year. So I don't think the tippy toeing thing does anything for me. So I think I want to start lowering the camera. And that way, when I show you things, I can show you full body what it looks like. So that's going to take some, what do you call it? Some shifting of things. So next time we can look forward to that. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Amy, Janine, and Jane. <laughs> And everybody, so this right here is a little charmy clasp. Um, Gail did a video for our bead, uh, bead circle, our bead hui actually for this one. And unfortunately, <laughs> I had walked out of the room and left Gail to make it. Unknowingly, she didn't know that her hands were falling off camera. So she went to Disneyland to take some high school students. She was a chaperone. So when she comes back, I'm going to ask her to do it again on camera so you guys can see how to make this piece. This piece is really cool because you can use it as a charm holder. She's like an S clasp. It's got a little hooky built into it so you can change things out. Dun, dun, dun. And then, Jason, you're going to get on IG while I do the show? Yeah, I will in a minute. Okay. I'm and then, to stuff here. Ta -da! 
So now you can change out your charms and you can hook this onto anything you want, like a chain, a cord, another necklace. So this necklace, Pauline, oh, thank you, Pauline, made it. And you just, she put a ring. You can just hook your ring on it and then you can put whatever pendants you want on here. Or you can take it on something like this that's already a finished necklace, per perhaps, and just hook it on and wear it like that. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Now, what I wanted to talk about today was malas. And you can let me know what you think. I was thinking, what if I make a series of really short videos to go, okay, how to set an intention for a mala, how to pick beads for a mala, how to put three beads together for a pattern in your mala. I, as I laid out a whole thing about malas that I realized if I went for it, a one hour video. Now, I don't know about you, but my attention span is about like seven minutes max, I notice, unless I'm watching Korean drama, then it turns into like a three hour max. But since I am not as entertaining as drama, I'm trying to think like maybe information might be better. So let me know what you guys think. <laughs> yeah, Janine says, love the interchangeable nature of this. What's your mood today? Time to change my pendant. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. We have an ability to pin our comments. So once Jason can do that, I will, I'll have him. Aloha, June. Guess what, you guys? I have a surprise for you. It's a treat. Was well, multiple treats, but the first treat is Jason might be going to a mine, huh, Jay, mm -hmm. in Arizona. Arizona. And if he does, he's going to take us with us. So he's planning that out. Uh, he and Connie are going to go head out with mommy and Calvin because there's a glass bead show in Las Vegas. If any of you live in Las Vegas, you can go to the uh, glass bead. Sorry, it's a, it's a glass expo. Yeah. So there's going to be some glass. beads there, handmade glass beads. Yeah. I hope. hope. I hope they find some and they can do a video for us. And then if he goes to the mine, I'm trying to figure out if we can do a series of turquoise on the road special Sessions. so that Jason can go live with some turquoise and maybe he can meet some people and interview them and show us more stuff. You guys want to do that? You guys want to kind of like road trip it with Jason for part of the way and maybe have some specials? Let us know. Because now I'm going to mix Build of his fire. What else can I say? The mala beads that we're showing today, a lot of them um, weren't a lot. Some had four pieces, some had 10, so that I made them as sets. And if you like the sets, you can buy the sets today. If you don't like the sets and you're like, I only want individual beads, please make a note because what I can do is I can um, either do a show for just the beads by the piece this week, or I can contact you. If it's one person, I won't do a whole show. I'll just let that one person know that there's your one bead for you, okay? What else? I wanna show you the layout for two different malas. Now, mala is made out of 108 beads. And so a 108 bead layout can be a P-I-T-A, as Pauline was discovering. So I had Nancy do a layout based on something I thought about. And then Pauline and I, and she did the hand labor, redid it four times over a four hour period to end up with a pattern a three, nine, nine, and then the rest of them here with a set of three and a focal. So I took a picture of this, and if you guys like, you can comment right now. I can do a, I can edit the photo, and I can put the amount of beads that go with each section. Okay, so if that's something, and you're buying some beads today, and you're like, oh, I need to figure out how to lay it out, or you got in some beads from us before, ask me. I am happy to do this work for you guys, okay? So we can do a layout for that. Now, this one is one I was like, I want a combination of different sizes of beads. So Pauline made this beautiful endless piece. I think it's endless. It is because there is not like a specific, oh, thank you, Pauline. There's not a specific ending to it. I'll talk about how to end a mala today as well. Um, we do have a video, so don't worry. We're not going to leave anyone behind. You will know how to do one. And if I don't show you today, we have videos to show you how to do it. You do. 
So this pattern that she did has a mixture of sixes and eights in here, and it has some spacers. Now, if you like the look of this one, the second mala, the mixed size mala, we can call this one the eight millimeter mala with focal. This is the mixed mala with six and eight millimeters. If you like the look of this one, go ahead and comment and let me know so then I can see if I should do a layout with a photo and the number of beads and the patterning so you guys can copy it. Because I tell you, there's so many things I wanna do and because I only have one body and one life, I am now asking you guys, what do you wanna see? What do you want me to do? And then what helps me focus, okay? So those are the two, I'm gonna put it down. I need the camera off of me and on the table so you can see. I keep jingling because I'm wearing the hammer sampler, which I will show you in a second. Okay. So today I have wood, rose gold, a rutilated quartz with rose gold beads, and my hammer sampler, which you can tell is my hammer sampler because it says it's the hammer sampler. So I stamped that, and each of these discs is a different texture from a different hammer so that I can remember what it looks like. I love the way it sounds. So we have a bunch of sets to show you, okay? Then I have some beads to show you that are focals. And then we can talk about the cord and some findings on how to do the interchangeable. I have two sets that I was gonna do as a demo if there's time, if you guys wanna see a demo. And what else? What else are we doing today? Um, I think that might be it. That's it. It's, it's very focused on Malas. wonderful mala. And this I love questions. I love, love, love questions. So you can see, oh my gosh, almost forgot. We have all this wood to show you. Yeah. And if we don't have time to show it to you, we did put it on. Hi, Andrew. I'm so glad you are watching. If you don't, um, if you don't need any wood today, and you're like, I need it later, I, we put this all up on the website. We took pictures, so you get to hear it. I hear a little bit above it about it, and then we can do that. Sandra said she would like to see a demo. I don't see anyone that needs the patterning for the Mala 108B layout. If you guys do change your mind, let me know, and then I can do that. And before I even start, my friend Karen saw something I posted in the feed hui, and that is our off the network social network, mm -hmm. tbg.family. And you guys are welcome to join us there. But she did message me. And so Karen, if you can put these in your cart right now, that way you'll save it. And when you get there, I'll talk about it. So 093 is the Picasso Jasper Cornelius Druzy Amber. This one. So Karen, put that in the cart. Some of these we don't have a lot of, so I just, I know you asked me to hold it for you. But I realized if I took it out of inventory, you wouldn't be able to pick yours. And then this one is 101 with the Morganite and the Sakura I get. Shall we get started? You guys, do you guys want to start with the all the different mix sets? Or wood, mix yeah. sets or wood. We're probably gonna ask. So the mix sets, you guys, are the actual um, mala centerpieces. You would call it, and then the wood would be the base, what you wear, and how you use to set your intention. Until I hear, I'm just gonna show. Oh, you she did already. One. Look at that. She good, yeah. Uh -huh. Thanks, Karen. I'll move this to the side, and I'll talk about. That first one, which is Mix 089, Appetite on the top, Amazonite, Laramar, and Green Kyanite. Okay, so I see Taylor and Doreen saying, Mix <laughs> sets. We're, we're, we're doing it, we're doing it. So the way this happened was Debbie Teagle here was in town. I told her I wanted to do some models. I said, oh, would you mind picking out some beads that could be beautiful focals? Mm -hmm. Now, Debbie, please put it. Um, please comment right now what it is that you do because Debbie works with gemstones for healing and with energy. And so I thought it'd be so 
awesome to have her pick these beads using her insight and her feelings, you know? So you guys get a different taste from the other 400 shows that we've done. Now this big piece right here is 15 millimeters. I'll put it in my hand so you can see. So it is carved with longevity. Now this set is, Jason? MIX089. If you like this, I was going to bring out the different Amazonites so you guys can pick the one that you like. Okay. And let's just talk about my watch one. This one. Yes. I need to show you something in messages. And what do you want to talk about, Jason? You want to talk about all these different beads in here and the feeling that they will get from here? Yeah, it's a peaceful, cooling, calm, calming, water. Comfort, tranquility. We, yes, we will sell some of the beads individually after the show because I did all the photos and we put it up on the website. But if you want, if there's something in here that you want by the piece, Karen, let me know. I'll, you know what I'm going to do so that we don't have to come back and worry about it later. I'm going to write it down right now. Let me know as we go if there's anything you guys want by the piece. Okay. Hi, Teresa. Sending you some hugs. Ah, oh, thank you, Debbie. I'm glad you got some. If you let me know what you got, I can always show you um, which ones you can choose because mm -hmm. some of them had differences in the beads and some of them did not. Yeah. Seriously, did not. <laughs> yes. So comment away if there's something you like. Appetite, Amazonite, the Laramar, and the Green Kyanite. I'm going to be putting the sets together if you guys don't mind because when I look at it, I can see that this piece here had tinges of green and blue, which made it a nice bridge between the green kyanite and the carved amazonite. Isn't that nice? I think I only have um, a few of those. I can tell you. So if you want me to, if we don't sell them as sets, I can come back and let you know, okay? Just let us know. Yep. Yes, the size of beads in the mixes, they are all listed on the website. So if you forget what I'm telling you, all of them are on the website. Nancy measured all of them. So it is eight millimeters. Sorry, this is 18. This is 14. And this one is 10. Okay, eight on the top and 10 on the bottom. So hopefully that gives you an idea. Carved Amazonite for Sharon and Carmen. Okay, I will let you know. Jason, you know what yes. we could do? I'll yes. leave this paper Just here. Leave it to and me. then you can put their names right on the paper, like circle it and mm -hmm. write the name next to it. That might be easier because then we know what, where it is. So if you could write down Sharon and Carmen. So that's MIX089. We are going to sell the sets first. So if the set runs out, we may not contact you. Okay, next up I have MIX090. This one is really nice. I love it. MIX090. Jason, what do you think about this one? Because this is my my particular favorite. Um, it's super um calming as well. But it's look at the color, you guys. See how it floats between a light to a dark? It 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 creates this balance of calm. It centers, it's like I love centering, it. calming. I made this cage that goes around it. If you guys want to do it, we can do it in the bead hui. We can do it in the bead circle. I can teach it as a class. So if you want to do a cage that's specific to a bead size, you'll see in some of the other ones that I did make cages, but I can do a cage class. Amazonite, appetite, malachite, and then I threw in this type of a bead. I had a bag of like 20 at home. So I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Look how big it is. And it is handmade and stacked. I thought the energy really matched. So that one is $7. That is sold MIX090. Yeah. So we definitely can, um, we can cover how to make these. And I did fit like a 20 gauge, an 18 gauge, and an 18 gauge in these. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. 
So you're only going to get the beads, one, two, three, four beads. You don't get my finished piece. It is with sterling silver. So if you're interested in making them, just make a note because I just did a bead jam and around the bead jam, you know, we can put this in. If you see things that you like, take note of it, okay? So at the end, you can stick it in your cart in case you're not sure. Look at this. This is just seed beads on a size four looks like a size four nylon. So Amanda made this for me years and years ago. It is color block with a light blue, a green, a light blue, an uh, ocean blue, purple, peach, light blue, green, purple, peach, light blue, dark blue, green. So I'm just reading you the pattern. So look, isn't that cute? Isn't that a really nice necklace strap to hold a piece on? And if you have a lot of seed beads, this is a great way to use that. It. it is. In between is sterling silver, teeny, teeny, teeny tie, but you can put whatever you want. You put a 2.8, 1.8 millimeter round. I love this one. And that was MIX090, you guys. Yes, Sylvia for the Azure right Malachite. I think those are like a dollar or two dollars, so I definitely can let you know about those later. I think I have more, okay? Put this away. That was MIX090. MIX091 is lapis, blue lace, and this one, this bead is super special to me because we've had it for maybe about 10 years, and I didn't, I liked it at first, and I didn't love it for years. And all of a sudden, mm -hmm. in the last two years, this yeah. is like my favorite shape and bead. Maybe because it's hard to find natural, tan like natural not dyed lapis, you know, and you can see like the lovely pyrite and these pieces. But I love that it's such a huge piece. It's $40 for all three beads. You don't get the wire work, but if you want to do it, we can do a wire mala follow. Okay. So this was just all free form. I was watching TV and I was like, I want to capture this. It reminds me of a badge. And mm -hmm. because lapis has that policeman's kind of, uh, discipline and protection energy to it. I thought, how great to make it look like that versus this way. And then I put a blue lace agate with all the bomb. Look at all that banding on there and follow it up with a piece of tanzanite. So with all of this, you get a feeling of strength, mm -hmm. insight, clarity, connecting your head to your heart, to your throat for the blue chakra so you can communicate well. Yeah. The silver bead on 090 is part of this mix, Karen. So if this mix doesn't sell out, yes, I can share those high silvers with you for sure. So that's MIX091 for lapis, blue lace agate. Oh my gosh, Sylvia, I almost forgot to tell you the sizes. This big bead here is 11 millimeters, and this is bigger than a quarter. Let me find the order. And then the Tanzanite on here, old stock is five, six, almost eight millimeters, seven and a half. Okay, that's that. That's a pretty blue one. Good choice on the larger um, bell shape. Thai silver is carrot. Um, it could not. You read that? Oh, sorry. Okay. That's this one. If Sylvia was interested in the Azurite map. Right Perfect. There. Okay, so that's M I X O nine one. So, so that's like a very watery. So when we made these, I first started making them like fire and earth, air and water. Do you and have any about the oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh nine one. This is oh I might have these. These are green moonstone. These are yeah, green. Green, 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 green. I can look and see if we have these. This particular knotted piece, I think was like maybe two years ago, two years ago. I'll go look, okay. We'll look note right now, green Taylor. moonstone for Taylor. If anybody else is interested in green moonstone, let me know. And if we have 
this is kind of a fun show, y'all. I'm just like, what are you guys interested? Whereas Pauline said, we're going with the flow. So here's the Charmy. That is the video that's going to be coming out for the weekly. As soon as we retape it, it is so easy to get off camera. I'm talking like it's only like less than an inch to get off and on. So we will do this again. This has a red jasper. You see this over here? This is a piece of chain that only I have that I cut. So if you guys get this kit, I will definitely add some of these little dangles in from you because we never sold this ever. So a very, very old piece of chain that was gold plated and it has all these little leaf dangles on there. I was like, it's so cute. So if you guys <laughs> are getting this kit and you need those leaf dangles, which I'm sure you're gonna need, then I'll put it in. So it's got a garnet here, a poppy jasper, and a red jasper. So this mm. one is about fire. This is about courage, about creativity, empowerment, stability, moving forward. This is MIX092. And it has like that red fire. You can make a charmy to hang it on. We sell these, but I think you should learn how to do that mm -hmm. for sure. So that you can use all of these and hook it wherever you want. So the size of this leads are nine millimeter, 10 and a half. And this one is about the size of a quarter. That's MIX092. And tell me if you like the pace. Am I going too fast or just right? What kind of um, wood necklace do you have on that one? This one is Bayong. And Bayong is also featured on our website, guys. If you haven't been to the website, please go. I'll show it to you guys at the end of the show. Yeah. This nasty made of trays. Yes, so we have the wood beach coming up as well. So, oh God, so don't crazy. leave right away. Yeah. Hang out if you can. Hang out if you can. What you looking for? I wanted to tell them about Bayong, which is sourced in the Philippines. Philippines. And I do think that it is one of our favorite woods. Like we've been selling this for, oh, 10 years. Many years. It's one of our first. Over 15 years. Yeah, it's one of our first woods. Yeah, it is one of our first woods. And Jason being half Filipino, we we're just like, yeah, let's, let's get some of that wood from the Philippines. Okay, MIX093. It is, oh my God, this might be my favorite. Okay, so Picasso Jasper, Carnelian mm -hmm. Druzy, and Amber. Now these beads are bomb. If you picked up this kit, I gotta show you real quickly which one you might want because they look so different. Okay, so if you got MIX093. Karen. <laughs> Karen, if there's anyone else. Uh, uh, maybe Debbie, I'm not too sure. I have to know what's that. variant tree, I'll just pop them in there. Okay, hold on one second. Because this is, the name of this bead is Picasso Jasper. The guy who cuts this, he is from, he's Swiss. Mm -hmm. And he travels the world, he sources beads wherever they're from and then what's really amazing is that that he designs it and has them cut in his operations so mm -hmm. Jason and I were like oh my gosh so the reason why these are called Picasso Jasper is they look like a Picasso painting and they are gorgeous I bought mm, I don't know like maybe like this is eight years ago so I don't remember how many shapes I got but I know Anna might remember she and I got strands and we split some. So these are gorgeous. They are in like the ochres, like uh, the mustard colors, mm -hmm. the reddish colors. Then look at this one. It has got gray and the lines, very Picasso. Look at the dark mahogany in there. Each one is beautiful. I cannot stand it. I was, I, it took me hours to pick just a few strands. I was so happy. So if you see a color that you like here, because they're so different, I would advise that you pick it, okay? Definitely pick out the color that you like if you got KT. Oh, M I'm sorry, MIX093. Yeah, I can double check right now. Then I will let you pick your... Uh, Karen K, Carmen, Debbie, and Pauline. All right. Okay. In that order. Okay. In that order. Karen, Carmen, Debbie, Holly, in that order. Thanks, guys. And then alone, these beads are $28. If you're like, oh, I really need one, let me know. 
you can pick after. Jason, do by any chance do you think you can write their names on bags? I think right? on bags. Yeah. The one that they like. Yep, they are is. 17 millimeters. So that's the story about the Picasso Jaspers. I love them. I'm trying to move them around so you can see it around the blue strip in the All right, bottom row. So anyone who's picking there, let me know if you see the one that you like. And I'm gonna have to, if you can't decide, just put that you want me to decide, okay? Because we have three beads to stack. So Carmen, if you know which one you like, and you wanna look at all the rows. JJ13, okay, I'm gonna wait for Karen. Oh, Karen wants JJ thirteen. That is. We have a. Can I? The other see? one that is close and yeah. similar to that is going to be JJ fifteen with the red and the yellow. So let me know if you like JJ thirteen, Carmen. And Debbie, if you see one that you like. And yes, Miss Pauline, you can pick at the store. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then Karen, you like a light or a dark? Light or dark? Okay, Karen, just let me know light or dark. Because you already told me that you like the one on here. If you like the one that's on my necklace, I do have one that's very, very similar. So if you want the one that's on my necklace, just tell me you want the same one. Carmen, JJ, 15. 15. Okay. And then Debbie. And Miss Debbie. I love the energy of all of them. JJ5 is kind of cool because it's got a little bit almost of a green in here. Look at this, you guys. Isn't that just crazy? It looks like a painting. This is JJ5. All right. Putting it in. So, Miss Carmen, let me know if you like light or dark. I have two more dark ones. And then for the amber, all you got to do is tell me light or dark. The reason I'm not going to have you pick is because I have so many, mm -hmm. but I'm going to find the best shape that goes yep. with your piece. So when I say light or dark, this would be the light. These would be the dark. I guess there's a medium. Tell me if you like light, dark, or medium. Okay, Light, dark, or medium, my friends, for your amber. And that one I'm going to pick after. So I'm going to lay it down and be very conscious of how I yep. pick it for you. Lighter. Okay. So I just need to know from... Carmen, if you like a light or dark carnelian with your piece. Okay, I'm going to put medium for Karen. Yep. And light or dark carnelian for your... Oops, I'm going to put that in there. Okay, this is done. I'm going to move it on the side. Now, what is next? Let me see. Okay. One moment. I'm just going to put away some of my stuff so I don't get confused. Carnelian Jersey Light. Check Debbie. And Amber Dark. Check Debbie. That's Debbie's. We have for the next one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Well, first of all, it's a jade necklace that um, my friend Clarine made for my birthday. But look at the piece on here. It is Saddle Jasper. If you're not familiar with Saddle Jasper, it is a Jasper from Japan. I've never had a Jasper from Japan. I had to go to Japan to get it. After I got that, I was so stoked. I paired that with the Sardonyx. Oh, let see if you could change the screen, please. Saddle Jasper Sardonyx, which is the banded one right here in the orange. And the bottom is a rabbit hair rutile, which I also got in Japan. Very hard to find this stone. Look at that. So these three is $69. And if you like that, I would have you pick the banded part because they were all so different. Now the Saddle Jasper, it's about, oh, it's about like, it's a very grounding, 
nature, very nature driven bead. And it's nice to know that it came from an island of that. Like I feel, I feel connected to. The second one is the sardonyx with the stripe. Very messy and creative. I'm gonna hold that up so you can see. And then the bottom bead with a rabbit hair rutile. Those are red elements in there. So it has a very lively, energetic, artsy, powerful feel to it. Mm -hmm. So this is MIX094. Can I just say something about using that those green beads? Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> That's a good one to use. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. Trying to get centered. 095 is very exciting because it has a bolder opal. So all of these are on the website. You can always come back. If you want a sardonyx later, Taylor, just let me know and I can call you. The sets don't sell. You are welcome. I will sell you one because they are gorgeous. Here is the box. I'm sorry. Here is the bolder opal. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the little shades of the purple glow. Each of these are so different that if you do get this kit, I want to bring out the bolder opal for you to share. So this has the bolder opal, the rhodonite, and a Botswana agate at the bottom. The the bolder opal here is oh my gosh, it's such an energetic stone. It, I love the colors in here. It's so grounding, it's so warm, and I love that each one is so different. Like that material, when you cut it, it's like a surprise. And then this here, the rhodonite, is about love, peace, you know, just really engaging you in acts of service from your heart. And the bottom one, agate, is your friendly stone at the bottom. So this is MIX095. If there's anyone interested, let me know so that you can choose it. You like the flatten loops on 094. Oh, thank you. I hammered all of them. So if you have a hammer, when we do items, you can have all of them. So this was a cage that I did on there. Okay. So speaking of cages, when I was talking about that earlier, that's a cage you can do. This is mix 096, silver obsidian at the top, hyperstein in the middle, and a Picasso jasper at the bottom. So it's funny because I love how it's like a little bit sparkly. So you have, this is a light and dark. It's a black and white. The hyperstein at the top has a definite like Labrador resins in here. A little hard to see, but oh, here, can you catch it at the bottom right there? The way I think you can, it? there it is. And then here is the obsidian with the silver. That's not a reflection, that's what's in the stone. And then we have the starfish at the top. So you can hang this on anything. We just put it on a necklace I had, which is made out of moss aqua. Mm -hmm. So this is MIX096. It's a pretty mix. Thank you. Very absorbing. I it's like very it. um balancing to me. MIX097. I love this one so very much. It comes with you can put anything you want at the bottom. And we put it on a lobster clasp so that it's interchangeable. So it comes with a faceted cube at the top. That is eight millimeters, a sujolite. Look how nice that sujolite is. Most sujolites in this price range are dirty. These were so pretty, I loved it. These are 10 millimeters. And then you get a tumbled nugget. That's about the height of a quarter. So this is MIX 097, two amethyst and a sujolite. 097, it's just $60. Amethyst is one of my favorite stones nowadays, nowadays to give as a gift because it seems like everybody can relate to amethyst in one way or another because everyone's looking for intellectual insight, keeping calm, sleeping well, resting your mind, and it has like that clarity as it the third as as it goes up to your head for the head chakra. So that would be this piece right here. And my X O nine seven. Did you guys think about using? Um, why did you guys use that on um, Thai silver leaf? 
Oh, I put that. Mm -hmm. I love the idea of it coming to a point yep. after that was a design design thought because I have a geometric here, right? Of like an oval around a cube. And I was like, I like the idea of something pointy and it's a heart, right? So you kind of cover yeah. like all your shapes. So that is MIX097, Amethyst like and Centralite. Perfect. Then MIX101. Karen, I think you have this one. So Jason, if you have the Morganite, I'm gonna let her pick her Morganite today. And with the Sakura Agate, I brought my extra brass pieces from home. These are not brass, actually, those are those are bronze. Now, they're not being made anymore. They're now out of production, but I have some. And do you like how I kind of did it? They're not centered pieces. I wanted it so they're kind of flippy floppy. Um, if you're getting this kit, I will throw some extras in for you. Or at least two, right? So you can make the same thing. So that is Morganite, Sakura Agate. Morganite is a very gentle stone. It's a very healing stone if you're looking for something that brings you, oh, like healing even from a childhood type things, you know, things that used to scare us, things that threatened us, made us feel not big. So this is like a healer for, to make you feel as maximized as you can be. So that is MIX 101. I love all of these, you guys. I love all of them. This one we only have a few of because we don't have a lot. These are hand carved. These are not laser cut. These are hand carved. So you know when you wear these that someone, someone had great skill. Oh my gosh, like the blossom. Okay, that's 101. 102. Oh, here is the 101 choices. Now, this is for you're not imagining it. Y6 is a bambusha. If you want a big one, that one's so pretty. I don't even think that's supposed to be in there, is there, Jason? It is. It is? Wow. It just is because... Um, They're hand carved. Yeah. And even though it looks like that, it... Yeah. You just have to choose what you like, so... Okay. So, um, Karen, which one do you like? Jason's going to see if anybody else got mixed 101 so that you can choose... Three people. Yours. Who, what, in what order? Uh, Karen first. Yep. And then Pauline. Okay. And then Carmen. So, Pauline, if you want to pick yours in person, you can. If you like it today, let me know. But Karen, pick yours. Please, so let me know. On the side, I'm going to show you the jade one while they're picking. So, this is pre night, low to light, and jade. I've actually used a hand carving on this. Look, I made a video. I don't know if you guys saw the reel this morning where I added a photo of this. So, you can see. The hand carving on this piece of jade. This jade, I love it. And this is Canadian jade, yeah, Jade, this one. Yes, that's Canadian jade. Yeah. You ordered this online? Okay, Miss Shirley, you have to let us know. Let me get um, um this is Pauline's and who else? Carmen. Carmen was second or Pauline was second? Hold on one second. Oh, right there. Car it's oh, right there. Carmen. Pauline. Pauline wants Y2. Okay, Miss Carmen, let me know which one you like. Sorry, Shirley, I did. I wasn't able to pull up any. If you want me to pick for you, um, let me know. Um, the one that I have on my necklace is I picked the strangest one of the bunch. It was a little bit off color. It had more yellow in it, and since I like yellow. Okay, Shirley, let me know which one you like. Who's that one? This is Carmen. Carmen, Shirley. Shirley, this one is more blue purple. And this is like, a, I mean, a bluey, bluey pink. And this one is more of a rose pink. So if you like more of a, like a lilac shade to your pink, pick this one. If you like it a little bit more peachy pink, pick Y1. And I think Doreen might be, the last 101, yeah? I don't know. I, don't, I have to go check one more time. Because I don't have any I'm more. not refreshing at all. Okay. There we go. That's it. Uh oh Shirley took Y. Shirley, did you really get one? I know this sounds um, crazy. Let me check. Let me check. Hold on one second. Okay. Do you guys have to... Jason's going to double check. Okay. I, I might have to... Somebody might get my, my Morganite. Um, my Morganite. I think uh, they might have put it... They did... I don't know if the... No. So breakdown. Okay, we'll come and check. So while Jason is checking on that, and surely I see your Wi-Fi, this is the jade. So this is mix 102, pre-night, low to light, and jade. Now, 
MIX102, Jason. Switch screens, or just, just hop over. Thank you. So this one is the pre-night version. Aha. Is 10 millimeters. The low to light is 14, and the jade is 18. I love this. Now, I tend to like it this way, but Clarine, she made this sample, likes it this way. And when she brought it back, I was pretty stoked about it. I was like, wow, I really like the way this looks, you know, from small, medium to large. Hang on, and I'm gonna see what the pieces look like for this one. Okay, luckily, all the jades look really similar, but let me see if there's any any pickings that will make a difference. Usually, if they look different, these all pretty, look pretty similar. If you wanna pick it, you can let me know, like, and I will put them in a tray, but tell me, do you wanna pick from here? When they're this close, I have actually a harder time picking than not, because then I'm like, oh, which one looks, which one looks like it matches me. However, I do think that the Lodolite might look a little, let me see. The Lodolite doesn't look very, the Lodolite doesn't look very different. Well, there's one that's more, well, I think it's just the lighting. One that looks more color saturated, but I think it's just the way that that is being held. But if you guys want to pick, for sure, tell me, and I will put them in a tray so that you can. And then while you're thinking about that, I'll show you the last step. <laughs> you like the lighter jade? Okay. I think, well, this one has a black stripe through it. I think this might be, I'm looking, hold on. Trying to see if I have anything lighter. This one, June, that is the lightest. It's also the smallest. Is that okay? Oopsie. One moment. This one, I think, is the lightest right here. But you tell me, top row or bottom row, June. If anybody else has a preference, like if you like, I like the one with the stripe or... They all tend to have a little stripey action going in them, too. Okay. I'll hold this for you, June. Okay. Thank you very much for looking at the jade. One more. Let's see. I'm following a piece of paper because I'm trying to make sure that I show it every That's pretty nice. And loader light. Oh my gosh. The loader light in here, loader light is um, also known it's a, like it has a phantom cord type of thing. It is, it is very dreamy. So they say that loader light is a good stone to wear for dreams. Like, oh, that's so nice. I like that one. All right. Now, my last set is the Rotonite set. So, this has Rotonite 20 millimeter, Rotonite 12, and Botswana 8. And it's a faceted Botswana. So pretty. This is MIX103. And this one I'll put together for you because there's not much um, difference in that batch of rubber. Oh, you it's know like what? The blue calcetinine. Yeah. It's in there. It must be in there. I missed it. There's actually a chunk right here that's the. Oh, kind of 
we jump oh i think it we you guys i think my we have like three more my my numbers flipped over yeah. and i missed it oh, i thought we were done we're no not. no we got three more so yeah. wait, wait let's finish up this okay. one guys so, so this is the rota right Four. love loving yourself i like this one so you can this one I can throw in a little piece of chain if you guys want to do it with this, because I did it with gold, but you can do it with silver, but I don't have any silver chain. You guys let me know if you want it to. This is Rotomate and that's what I get. So pretty, I like the feel of this stone. Now we have three more, because I almost missed it. If there is something that you saw and you want to see it again, because you're like, oh, I, I didn't get what I wanted and I want to circle back, Please let me know and I will go back to it. This is MIX098 Blue Opal at the top, also known as Oahi Blue Opal, named after some guys who found it and they mispronounced Hawaii because they said it looks like a stone from Hawaii with that ocean color. And then they have the blue chalcedony next to it. I picked this one because I like how it's like almost like a full moon and some tanzanite. This is all about peace calm and insight. This one is, that's all it's about. If you look at it, it's so steady. The quarter there, nine millimeters and a nice, big, chunky tanzanite right there. Wait, that is not a tanzanite. Am I crazy? No, no, it is. It that's is. not an iolite? It, it is, is a tanzanite? It's iolite. But, it's an iolite. I think but, I... I think we miss um, typed that one. Okay, um, let me see it real quick. Let me double check on that, you guys. No, it is a Tanzanite. It is. Hold, let me hold it up. It's more purple than it is. Yeah. Look at and that. Judy, if you want MIX 103, can you please recomment with no space between the yeah. MIX? So this is 098. More. The other blue chalcedony. So this is sold space MIX 099. This has blue chalcedony, ametrine, and a little amethyst at the bottom. The ametrine, I liked it. I picked, I like it because it has like little, sh like almost like rainbows. I don't know if they all have them, but they all, they all are definitely like a double terminated piece. Mm -hmm. This is not natural, FYI, but so... It's a creative cut. I, I like tell it. People, I do. A creative cut. I want to make rings with this cut. Mm -hmm. So this one is $40 MIX099. And we put it on a class. We have this class on YouTube if you want to learn how to make it. And then you can take it off and put it on whatever you want. Yeah. If you guys need to, it to be more secure, just pinch it close. I mean, seriously. So 099, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Blue Calcidini, uh, the Amatrine, and the... Okay, now the last one. It's 100. This is Citrine, Smoky Quartz, and Green Garnet. Oh, look at that. Let me see if those pieces are different. Hang on. They kind of are. Not too much. Though. That one right there, right? Yes, those are different. If you guys are getting that one, I'm going to turn around and show it to you. So I have the container for it. If anyone's getting Mix 100, let me know so that I can lay out the different citrines for you to choose from because some are slightly chubbier than the others. That was such an amazing, happy, happy show, you guys. I and we have wood to go it. next. I think I'll help you with the wood. wood. Well, let's do the. Uh, so, if any of you guys picked up um, Mix 100, let us know. And if you ordered online, um, please let us know right away so we can help you out. Let me check. Okay, no one for 100, G. Nope. Nope. Okay. Did anyone get the amateur? Did anyone get the one with the amethyst? Because those have some slight differences. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, oh my gosh, 
Did I forget Mix 97? No, I didn't. So if you got Mix 97, please let me know so I can let you pick your amethyst today. I swear, just like they some pieces definitely Nobody. call out to me different. Nobody? Okay. This way. Okay. Where did my bag go? Which one? Oh, okay. I love these amethysts. Oh, we have Debbie for Mix 100. Okay. I'm going to let her pick her citrines. This is this necklace is the most powerful one of all. Citrine, smoky quartz, and green garden. This is the money maker. Okay, so if you don't feel that energy yet, let me talk about it just a little bit. Let me get Debbie set up to choose. Hang on, there were three more. Jason. Not too sure. Let me see. You the box? Mm -mm. No. If you can grab the box, it's probably on that right, one right there. Yeah. There's two more. Okay. Now, Miss Debbie, I'll walk her through. As you're searching for the bead, this is what I would recommend you do. Find the one that makes you feel full inside. That is, um, my mic is staticky. Okay, let me know if it's still staticky because I think when I move, if my shirt touches it, it makes it staticky. So I'm not going to move. I'll wait to hear from you. Let me know. But in the meantime, I'm going to rearrange these. I guess I have to keep looking to see if it's staticky. Yeah, that might be me. I'm going to move it off. That could be me. Okay. Are we okay? <laughs> That'd be like number 10. I know. I was going to say, how about this one? So you want to find one that makes you feel confident, that makes you feel abundant. This. Okay, so I'm going to stop moving, Jovan. No, so that, was me. that was my shirt. Oh. We have dual sales. And I've been, I've been typing a little loudly. So. And you know what's interesting? I noticed the last three videos that it's been rubbing on your shirt. So. I think it's because you're doing clip-on style. Just wanted to make a note. But you want to make sure that it feels successful because the yellow is your internal power. It's like your combustion engine to say, keep going. The smoky quartz filters out any of the junk around you so that you can stay focused on what is your positive goals. Green Garnet is all about abundance, protection. So if you see this combination and you really, I'm trying not to move, Giovanna. Not, I'm not even joking. So if you love this combination, it could be that you're ready to make a move, take a step and say, yes, there are things I want to do and I'm going to do them. Miss Debbie, I got you your dream. Jason, that's okay. for Miss Debbie. Got it. Thank you very, very, very much. Now I have to show you something before we move on. It kept calling to me, okay? I didn't make anything with it because I didn't have time, but I carried it around for two weeks. So I just need to show it to you guys because maybe it's an energy, not just I need, but maybe we all need it collectively. This is Rainbow Florida. I picked these up in Japan years ago and I got to straighten out my tester wire. If you have these nylon jaw pliers. Enjoy them. Yeah, you can do this and get your wire straightened out. I'm using some force and pressure. So it feels like, does feel like a little bit of work. And remember, guys, if you have dead soft wire, you are you will be tempering it, so it'll be a little bit more springy when you get to use it the next time. Mm -hmm. Just a little middle. Look, there's shades of purple and blue, and almost like that indica white color. This is rainbow fluorite. I've never seen anything like it before. I'm the only person that I know that has this. This is a 50 millimeter rainbow fluorite. They're $45. Jason, if you can clear the screen for me. This is not related to anything except that I've been feeling this energy and the colors are just so awesome. You can just wear one of these as like a focal on a bracelet or just hang on to it and wrap it as a pendant on a long chain so you can admire it. It's a very, very, very super special stone. And I just needed to share that with you in case you've never seen it before. I love it so very much. Can I get the one on the left? Can you hear her? Yeah. But hang on, Debbie, because in that color, I have 
<laughs> Even one with a tinge of green, because I think you might dig that one. Check that out. So you can just tell me if you like, you can call number one, number two, number three. If number three is calling you, I will pull that off. And Jason, if you could mm -hmm. please double check that, that this is in tagged and that she can grab it. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Rainbow fluoride is very, very soothing. Fluoride itself is a soothing stone. It's really soft. And when you think about its softness, think about the softness of a pillow and you're in like in a furry robe. And when somebody's throwing something at you, it can't get through your furry robe. That's the energetic spell and power of the fluorite. It's a soft stone that can absorb all the junk of things that may or may not be flying your way. So you should wear it. Yes, and then there is more. You want number three, you got it, Debbie. If there's any other takers, this is not on the website. This is just something that I love that I keep hidden in one of the drawers in the very, very back. So if you're like, oh my God, I need one today, let me know. I'm going to put it in right now. Give me one second. Okay, guys. Okay. It hasn't been put in for several years. So I don't, I don't think I, this might be the first time that it got a show. I'm not sure. I can't remember because I long know. Long time ago. Really long. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you Miss Nancy and Pauline's joint project necklace. So that is the last of our kits. If there was something you wanted to see, and it was, oh, I remember Judy said she was looking at something, the very first one. The very first one was this one, Judy, the Amazonite. Here we go. This is MIX089. Taylor, I'm going to put them all on this wire so you can choose. Okay. So one on the left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight. If you tell me one through eight, one on the left, eight on the right. And hang on, Miss Debbie. Yes, Pauline, I'll pick one for you. Aren't they lovely? These are all that I have all of my rainbow fluorite. Let me make a rainbow for you. How many millimeters? 14? 15. 15. Okay, so Judy, this here was mix 089. Mix 089 with the Appetite, Amazonite, Laramar, and the green kyanite. Number one is calling you, okay. So these um, are from Japan. They were cut and I bought them there. They're so gorgeous. I love it. And Can that is the number, you guys. Taylor, please. Taylor. Yeah. Do you have, you have Debbie's? Yes, I pulled it on the side and put it right here. So if you're getting the rainbow fluorite, except Pauline who's coming into the store, please put P2067. Bye, bye, Pauline. Bye, Pauline. Judy, you're so funny. Oh, dear, it's calling your name. Uh, this was one of the easiest ones to put together because the colors in it, in person, it will look different. The camera is fighting. It always fights with Aramar because I think it's so, the, the, the pastelness of the white background and then it's got the, the, the blue tones on it. <laughs> Chini, you're funny. When you come to Hawaii, if I have them, I'll show it to you. Alrighty, I'm gonna put this away. Okay, any other looks at anything before I put it back? My I'm gonna the wood now, and then I have to run away. Okay, this is gonna go to the store, and I will finish with the wood. Uh oh, what happened? Carmen and Amy would like this. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here for Carmen sure. and Amy. You know, you know what, let me put it on a tray. Okay. So that way you guys, if I'm gone. Oh, thank you, Jason. You guys can have it ready. Thank you. And that way, if I don't put it in a bag, you can decide which one you like, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna turn around and grab the wood while I let the rainbow fluorites play yeah. here so we'll for check. your choices. Uh-oh. Yep. Jason gotta go. Can I can borrow mine? Yeah, 
This is going to be a fast wood show because I am by Taylor because I am all alone. So I am going to have Miss Connie. Okay, Amy, I will pick for you. And Carmen, was there one that you really like? A darker, a medium, a light one. You want some softer energy or a little bit stronger, you know? And I will happily grab it for you. Carmen, I don't know, but I'm feeling Z2 for you. Okay. And then for Amy, I was feeling, oh, that's a hard one. I think Z3. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some wood. All right, so we're gonna change up our team. And with the wood, all you can do is comment if you see something you like and we have it on the website. So if today's not a good day for you to grab it, you can always go on the website. But I think what it does is just give you a chance to show it to you in person and kind of talk about how, why we like each other, each, each other. Why do we like each other? So this is gem 864 at the top, which is the Phoenix scale. 864. And you hit show and then it'll pop up. So gem 864, the Phoenix tail. Phoenix tail is considered a creative wood. Why? Because look, it's crazy. It's got all kinds of eyes and stripes happening on there. A very, very easy way to enjoy straight string. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit textured visually. So I wouldn't use it with like things that are like got a lot of action going on. Otherwise it's a little hard to focus. So if you have like something that's super plain and you need something busy to accent it, Phoenix Tail is a good choice, okay? Next up is Gem 1209, 1209. Now this Robles kind of looks like African Wenge and it also kind of looks like Phoenix Tail, but it's not. So if we can switch to gem 1209, and it should be in numerical order. So gem 1209, if you look at it, Robles, it's a very hard wood. We have been selling Robles for a very long time. This and the, the um, oh my gosh, I'm getting old, Mayong are two top sellers. The other one's more orangey and this one's more brown. This is like, we used to sell teak. Oh my God, it was so easy to get 25 years ago and now it's not. So Robles is our teak uh, replacement. Hi Clem. So if you like the crazy Phoenix tail, which I love, you want it a little bit less, here is the Robles right here. Now we have a small Robles in six millimeter this batch is so pretty. Look at the brown. Look how nice that brown is on skin. It's got only, you see how this one has a tinge of green in it? And this one has a tinge of red. Every batch is different. You can't be like, oh, I'm gonna just order some Robles wood. And you think it's gonna just be whatever color you like, which is why I love the live shows. This has a tinge of green. You can see right in the camera now. This has a tinge of red. They both are nice. So if you're going to work with maybe the citrines, the peridots, something that has a yellow tone to the color, I go with something like that. If you want to work with maybe like a Tahitian pearl that doesn't have a green peacock accent, or you want to put it with like ivory. Oh, ivory would look both nice with both, like a yellow cream, like a cream color. But if you want to put this more with like a garnet or an amethyst, this color rocks, Gem 1209. Now, if you guys could, if you're my friends that are left, please tell me if this is too much detail on woods that you do or do not need. Because I could talk about all of these and there are one, two, three, 
four, five. There's about 25 more. So I will not go into a crazy detail if you feel that, because it could take another hour. So if you feel like, oh, you just want to look at it, but you don't need a story for each strand, go ahead and tell me. That always helps. 318, Gem 318. I have been trying to develop very trusting communications with Thank you. Judy, you're so funny. I'm glad I'm glad it was only your phone that died. So the one that you were looking at was No, she was she wanted the very, very first one. Hang on, I knew it. It is Mix089, Judy. You want this one. M I X. 089. So if you type that, Judy, this right here by my sky colored finger now, MIX089, okay, that's the one that you want, Judy. It's got Appetite, Amazonite, Laramar, and Green Kyanite. Details are great. Judy's like, don't need a story. I might kill her phone again. <laughs> okay, I'll find someplace in between. So this is sandalwood. Now, there's two kinds of like sandalwood has over a hundred different varieties out there. What you, the only thing you need to know is there is sandalwood that is real, that's scented by nature. And there's sandalwood that is not scented by nature, scented by man from a bottle of aromatherapy that's put on sandalwood. The wood is sandalwood but it is an unscented variety of the tree. Cause again, like, there's like a hundred plus varieties of sandalwood. So this yellow one is Australian sandalwood. This is sandalwood from India. Now the stuff from India is the stuff that Chanel has been buying out for years so they can make some of their perfumes, which kind of jacks up the price, okay? It, is, it smells so good. So as long as you kind of know the difference, <laughs> I'm reading your comment, Jenny. You're so funny. If I don't need a story, would that be considered pawing through the wood beans? <laughs> Which woods do you use for great Tahitian pearls? Gray wood. I'm glad you asked. Or sandalwood looks great with Tahitian pearls. So this is real sandalwood, not scented with oil, but the scented from the tree. Okay, so this is gem. What is this gem number? 318. And I have gem 318. And I'll finish this sandalwood tray and I'll move to the gray. And it's in numerical. Mm -hmm. Gem. So sandalwood is more pricey. So this is $72. But this is a very old price. I went and tried to buy some this past year. Nobody had sandalwood. I found one vendor who had like old stock, 20 strands, 10 millimeters. I grabbed it all. The lady behind me was like, what are you getting? What is that? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, we got it all. Turns out that she was our host at the dinner party we went to. So I ended up giving her one, but isn't that funny? Small world, right? So gem 318. Uh-oh. Uh oh no, scroll down a little. Stop, right there. Go five up from where you're at. Two more. Right there, stop. Okay, so that's gem 318. No, thank you for helping me. We got a new helper as Jason had to go work the front. I, I was like, Connie, come help me. Now, if you don't need that many sandalwood beads, we put it in a small portion. That's gem 1146. Gem 1146. Five down. <laughs> And hit oh, one, one, four, six. Yeah, hit show. <laughs> so this is a 27 piece bag of sandalwood. So this is enough to do a bracelet. So if you don't want to invest in 108 beads to do a mala necklace, we portioned it off in a tinier bag for you than one, one, four, six. Let me says, hi, Connie. Hi, Deb. <laughs> so great for a bracelet. And look how nice these sandalwoods are. These are nice. Again, these aren't old stock. When I went to look this past year, I could not find any sandalwood. Connie's making this face like she was like, why can't we find any sandalwood? I was sad. You know what I might do is hoard all this. <laughs> this is the, the next one is gem 1409. 1409. 
four one four zero nine is just a little bit darker than the one I first showed you. Can you see this? This pulls a little bit more yellow. This one pulls a little bit more red. Gem 1409. Oh. One four, a little bit more. Okay, not so fast. You passed it right there. So 1409 is a this is a little bit darker than this batch here. Okay. Be picky about your woods, my friends, because no matter what, they are always going to be different. You can never get the same bead, even though it's called sandalwood eight millimeters. It's never going to be the same batch in the same by the same person. All the trees look different. These are so nice. They're so natural. Yeah. Okay. Then I we'll only have one left of this one. This is gem 937. It is one millimeter smaller than its sister here. Gem 937 sandalwood. Oh, that's pretty. Gem 1599. This one is a six millimeter, maybe 5.5. .5. Let me double check. Kind of feels like a... Yep, it is a six. 1599. So this is a six millimeter. We made it in two portions. You can get 36 pieces, which is enough for a bracelet. And so that is $24. We can get the full thing, 108 pieces for $60. So that's gem 1599. Now, if you like, it's like sandalwood is my favorite. It, when you wear this, it wears down with grace. It doesn't get all like shreddy. It doesn't get pokey and it doesn't like get weird around the holes. Like some wood around the holes tends to get like stripped down and it starts to flake off. Not this one. It just gets softer and just more worn down with age, kind of like me. That was sandalwood. Now, Giovanna, you were asking about this, right? The gray wood. Or was it Taylor? These look good with Tahitian pearls. All of these. Let me see. Do I have any Tahitian pearls on me right now? Oh, no, I don't. How can that be? I wanted to put a Tahitian pearl in the screen so you can see. Okay. If you need a Tahitian pearl to see it with, please let me know, and I'll send Connie outside to run and grab one. Not a problem. Just, oh. just go. No, because I need you. Here, I found one. <laughs> I'm like, no, can you please put gem 1845? Read up. One more, one more, one more. There. there you go. This is one of our best sellers right here because it's matte 1845 and it is just easy to design with. The matteness means that you can use your own aromatherapy oils and it is going to make it darker. So if you want to, you can totally use these with mm, almost any color, any color. Any color. Oh, I see Clem said she said that she got some Magambo seeds, drilling them and put them with wood beads. Ah, oh, she thinks of us. Thank you. I like anything that's soft and fragrant. It reminds me of my pillow. Yeah. And waffles. <laughs> After she gets bocha. <laughs> what you in Hawaii is when you take a bath. <laughs> then she's then she's soft and fragrant. So this is gem 1845. This is a staple. This is a classic. If you don't use aromatherapy, aromatherapy oils, just go straight for this one. This is gem 2176. 2176. It's a polished version. You can see this one pulls a little more green and these a little more gray. When you order, if you tell me right now if you like green or more gray, then we will definitely take it. These are both, these are all gray wood, but because of the trees, right, they're all a little different. I want you to see, look at the color variation between a greenish one and a grayish one. It almost like it, more like an olive gray, you know? Let's call it camel gray. Not camel like a camel toe, <laughs> camel like an animal, camel like 
people who wear those pants when they go to the military. <laughs> Camel. Yeah, I'm having a camel hard time. It's camouflage, camel like camouflage. <laughs> Look, can you write that down for me? Debbie T wants 2176 more green. Karen K wants it more gray. All right, now we're going to move to a smaller version. Can Connie write and change it at the same time? No. We shall see the challenge. What is it? to a gem 1750? One seven one five. So this is a six millimeter. Look, so cute. If you're making a mala, this looks so good. Ah, Janine, thank you for saying that. Janine says even if you don't use aromatherapy oils, should I ask Connie to post that com that comment? You think she she got it in her to post a comment? <laughs> go, go go to chat. I'm gonna try test. Go to chat. Is that button right there? Mm -hmm. Find on the left hand side, scroll down mm -hmm. all the way down. So scroll, scroll, scroll. And we're going to find Janine's comment at the bottom. Oh, okay. All the way down. And then you see it? Hit show. Nope. Yep. Perfect. So now, Connie, good job. Connie made the comment show up on the screen. So if you're like, oh, Janine, thank you for that tip. You may want gem 1845, which is right here, gem 1845. Now, this gray wood is a newer batch. Look, we got this, I think, a year ago, maybe. Well, not even a whole year. This is 2023, and this was the late, more recent, end of 2023. And look, the color is slightly different because the tree probably was different. So Miss Connie, can you now go back to captions mm -hmm. and go to Gem 1846 so they can see the price for that. So okay. captions on the right, right here. two down from that. Okay. Mm -hmm. One up from that. <laughs> Over on your left, Gem 1846, five down, one more down. There you go. <laughs> Teresa, are you sweating? <laughs> Teresa, this this can be your job in three weeks when you come to Hawaii. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Gem one eight four six. Debbie's at home. Wait, my God, it's not me today. <laughs> Gem one eight four six is a six millimeter gray wood. And again, if you find that this is a little too soft for your liking, you can oil it up. Thank you for looking at the gray wood, my friends. Now I'm going to show you. The next tray. Oh, what is gray wood? You might be asking. <laughs> gray wood is a wood that has the gray color. It's not one specific tree, evidently. Isn't that interesting? I thought that was interesting. Okay, cedar wood. This is gem six, nope, 724. 724, Now, the cedar wood is darker. It looks like a roasty, toasty marshmallow that had some red paint thrown on it. Not red. It's more like a burnt cinnamon. Yeah. It got sprinkled with, with cinnamon after it got a little roasty, toasty. <laughs> it's cute. This is Gem 724. I'll put it on so you can see the color difference. This is a rosewood that I've been wearing. So you can see that it's got my skin oils picking up. So you can see all of the, um, we don't call those lines. We call that. <laughs> on the tree when you can see the rings yes, and there's the a, ring. yeah and there's another word for those <laughs> this morning i was it's like their age <laughs> this morning i couldn't remember something i sat there for 10 minutes oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is what my mom feels like <laughs> this is gem 724 it teaches me patience and gratitude you know like good health only can last so long right until one day you just don't have it for whatever reason so when you have it my friends bead like a mofo yes just do it do everything you can while your body can do it green creation yes wood green Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Kara. Gem 724. The cedar is really cute. I, I really appreciate it. You know how the phoenix tail had the, 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 the squiggly lines and the eyes? The seed, this one only has like lines, but it's fine, it's a finer banded line and it doesn't have eyes. 
This is rosewood. This is gem 1842. So it will naturally darken like the one on my wrist. If you wear it enough times, you can give it some help. If you have lotion on your body or coconut oil on your body already, it's a good day to wear it because it can absorb some of that for you. This is my lips in Tucson. <laughs> 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 a very neutral taupey color. <laughs> oh, this is gem 1842. Okay, what else you got? Kind of cool. yeah. Okay, this is Bayong. Bayong has an orange flavor to it. Not so orange that you would feel like jaundiced when you wear it, but definitely it has a deeper, richer color. Uh, this is JAMA 2174, 2174. Now, can you see what's happening? Not good stuff because it's fighting, the orange is fighting with the blue. So I'm gonna move this to the side and put it, wow, that's not helping either. Hold on. Let's see if Miss Connie is, oh, interesting. Yeah, it must be me because look, she, had, she has more pinky white skin and I have more yellowy brown skin. I'll have you wear it, okay? So that one, <laughs> that one, and I do wear Bayang a lot, I just wanna point out, is gem number 2174, and it's an eight millimeter, so it's a perfect size if you wanna just go ahead and straight string it, make a mala, or just do a bracelet. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get to talk about doing malas, making a mala, I don't know, God, there's so many pieces to show. <laughs> We might have to do this. Shall we get back together, you guys, and do the college chat next time? What is this one? Uh, the number. Yeah. 1846. This is a six millimeter. It's matte, so it's got a softer look to it. $13 from 1847. I like that one as a filler, and it's a strong filler. You know how some woods, like neem wood, and um, there's another white wood that we used to carry. It's very, very soft, so it would just break down quite easily. Not that one. Okay. Then we have a shiny version of that. That is six millimeter. 2173, six millimeter. And it's got a little bit of a finish on that one, so it is. Not super shiny, but it's definitely not matte. That's actually one of our most popular selling beads mm -hmm. right there. Because of the size. Yep. And, and the color. It has a space. Yep. And that last one on that Bayong tray is an eight millimeter. 1848. 1848. Bayong matte finish. Super cute. Now, Bayang, again, is a wood that's native to the Philippines. They use it in arts and crafts, and they use it for making, oh my gosh, what do they make with it? Furniture, jewelry boxes, you know, anything that you would need in, you know, wood. This is an ebony. This is our lush tray, I think. Yeah, so ebony. Ebony is... 1829 and that is a little more expensive and you can guess why because it's harder it's a hard wood it doesn't come from the philippines it is mostly from i think southeast asia maybe some from africa and so that one you can use it i'm sure you guys have heard of ebony before so they do a lot of carving a lot of high-end furniture with it it's very dense very hard very strong so because of that oh there's also tiger ebony in case you've heard of that we didn't put any in the show today but because of that it makes it a very resilient strong adaptable just high quality wood that was 1829 mat this is gem 2170 a six millimeter this is a great filler mix it with gemstones six millimeter and it's polished ebony wood yeah. I am <laughs> Pantone color of the year. I am ready for questions. I am going to go outside in a little bit. I'll leave Jason out there. But 
I'm ready for questions. So now's a good time to think of any mala questions. If I can't answer it today, I'm going to write it down and I will get back to you in a show. If there's something I need to show you. If you need some links to making a mala, we have it on YouTube. That one is Gem. I don't know where that was hiding, but Connie just whipped that one out and she's like, come on. That is eight millimeter. Eight millimeter is really nice for bracelets. Again, if you want to just straight string it with one focal in the center. I'm going to be waiting here for any questions, anything, how to make it, how to do the layout. Let me know. So I know what kind of work to do. I noticed that I end up doing all kinds of nonsense that nobody really is interested in because I get down the rabbit hole. I'm like, oh, I think they want to know this. And I post it, and I don't even think anyone reads it. So, to me, efficient. I think it's you what you want. Hit hide right there so you don't have to look for it. So, give you what you want. I am going to start asking. So, Miss Connie, you see this little slider right here? Slide that on. Slide it on. Mm -hmm, slide it on. And my face will appear on the. And now you want to click on. Nope. Touch the bottom. <laughs> you did perfect. You did perfect. All right. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! We're here. Good job. So Janine is saying, oh, she has a cool cut of faceted ebony. I'm glad you got that, Janine. He stopped making that before, like right at the start of COVID, because it was just too expensive and he didn't have the labor force or the resources. So that faceted stuff no longer is available, which is kind of sad. You know, because I want some more. Now, Kiki says, do you count the spacers as part of the 108 beads? Not necessarily, because when you're counting on your mala, for example, like this, I'll put one in the corner here. When you're counting on your mala, and you're doing a meditation, you're, it's really hard for your fingers to count your intention when it's a teeny spacer. So typically, we just count spacer as part of just a design aspect on either side of the bead. So down here would be your guru bead. The word guru comes from teacher. So this is like how you're going to set all your intentions and come back to the start. I do want to tell you something super interesting for whoever's left here. As far as um, the number 108 goes in numerology, I think you'll like this, Connie. One is me, right? Or you. One is something. Then you have zero. Zero is nothing. And then eight is everything. It's the infinite. So when you combine so, one, zero, and eight, it's self in the universe. Yep, it's yourself <laughs> in the universe. I love it. I, I just, I never thought about that. And I was just like, wow, that is so amazing. Ah, Judy says she needs help. Can I come to Kauai? Because I'm dressed with my outdoor look. Yes, ma'am. Welcome. We'll meet you. I would love to. What size bead is recommended for cardboard nylon? Okay. So carded nylon comes in like size 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. A 2 is like, let's just say a size 4 cord is similar to a 26 gauge wire, a 26 gauge wire. And a size 10 is kind of like a size 18, 2018 gauge wire. So depending on the size of your bead hole, you can pick your thread. So when you, can, you can pick your bead based on the thread that you have, or you can pick your thread based on the beads you have. I hope I... I hope I did a good job answering that. Like, and if you have one thread and it is too thin for your beads, you can take two, take two packages and put two going through and square knots. So put two of your thread. Or if the thread is still too tiny, you can put a spacer on either side and knot. And that should lock your beads in place. Let me see if there's any other questions. Are more malas made with eight versus six? Just depends on how long your torso is. Let me show you where my samples went. So I had some necklaces when we started off. Let me see where I put them. There are two. One, ah, here's one. 
There's another. Oh, I forgot. You see this necklace that Nancy designed? Some of you already got the uh, moonstone when I was in Tucson. So this is the Tucson moonstone that we had on special on the bead for me. If you missed it, let me know. Then she picked an aquamarine and a druzy. I have both of these. If you're interested in the druzy, they're so cute. I got a show you. And I have the aquamarine also in the shirt. So if you want to get, I'll, I got to show you those last two. But going back to Sylvia's question, are they made more with me? versus six. If you make a six millimeter model, it will be tight. It will just make it about 22, maybe 22 and a half inches if you just straight string it. So sometimes when you pull it over your head, it can like scratch down your face because it's tiny. If you make one with all eight millimeters, and I'm five feet, so mine will go past my belly button. So it's not good bathroom wear. So if you are kind of like in between where you have a larger head and a shorter torso, then you cannot wear an eight or a six. Then you want to wear this. This is a six and an eight. Look, goes over your head, even with my hat, comes down only to mid body, like um, four inches above my belly button. You got to kind of do a lot of math. Guess what? I did that for you. I did a whole bunch of different combinations and said, okay, if you use 27 beads, eight millimeters, 27 beads, four millimeters, and so on, how many inches is that? I did all kinds of formulas because I wanted to be able to tell you that your necklace isn't going to be too long, which we've had customers, and it's not going to be too short or it doesn't go over your head, okay? Those are two things to think about. So this one is a combination of sixes and eights sixes and eights. Good job, Holly. So if you guys want me to put this as a photo with the layout, you can do. Giovanna says, I'm using three stones. Should I use the same spacers? I love three stones. Three stones is the trifecta, right? Past, present, future. Body, mind, spirit. Father, son, holy I mean, there's so many things that are done in threes that is probably the most symbolic set you could think of to put on an intention setting necklace like this. The spacers that you use, Giovanna, I, I, I would recommend sticking with the same ones for one reason alone. When you're making something and you're so focused on your intentions and setting a mantra, like I am strong, strong mind, strong body, strong mind, strong body. That is a wonderful intention to have in the piece that I kind of like to keep it strong, plain, easy to follow, like reading a good book. I don't want to have plot twists. I don't want to have it like be too dramatic. I don't want to have super like lots of contrast. I want that book to be easy to read and just steady and grounding. So do what you need to, to make this piece feel steadying and feel grounding for you, okay? Let's see. I feel like I got all the questions. Did I miss any? Let me know. I'm going to read back on here. If there's any requests for a class, um, how to start and end it, if you can't find it on our YouTube, go to our YouTube channel, the Gallery, and type in Mala. If you have more questions and you want to direct message me, join our bead hui. It's called pbg.family. If you want to have free classes and free access to our B-Jams, we have a paid subscription. It's $9.99 a month. I promise you, I think it's worth it. And I have some other friends that hopefully will say the same things. Um, we have a B-Jam coming up next week in April. It's not on the day I thought it would be because Teresa, our Ohana member, is coming to visit on the weekend of the 23rd, I think. So she will be co-hosting and, <laughs> and trying it out with us. What else can I tell you? Bead, jam, mala. Oh, am I missing anything, you guys? Oh my gosh. I wanted to do an Easter thing. What do you guys want to do? I'm going to be here on Easter Sunday. Do you want me to do like a sale? Do you want me to do a Wednesday, Tuesday show? Do you want to do some... I think my gift with purchase. Do you oh, just tell me? Like, you guys are my courts. We're in this together. What do you think might be fun? Let me know. So Easter Sunday over here. Next weekend is going to be round. What the heck is a round show? So Connie and I went to Tucson and we spent, would you say about 20 plus hours 
taking out those beads. Yeah. We went back four times, yeah, four days yeah. in a row. We spent about 20 hours hand picking beads out of bits, out of thousands and thousands of shirts. Why? Because the whole thing is find the best, find the best. Even if you're next, don't stop. <laughs> put on your gloves. I know your hands feel like it's 20 degrees. I was like, put on your gloves and keep looking. I know it's dark. Turn on the flashlight on your <laughs> So we know lots of goodies. But some of them we didn't find in huge quantities. Some of them we found in like quantities of 10, some in twos. So I thought for the round show, we would bring it out, show it to you guys, either sell it by the piece or sell it by sell it by the piece or sell it by the strap. Sylvia, I cannot get the Azure right bead because there's nobody helping me in the show right now. And I have to, to get a bead on the show, I actually have to go into two different applications and type and tag it and I can't get there. So I will make sure that you do that you do see it. It was a lot of pawing. It was a lot of pawing and a lot of grading. It was a great trip. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't show you Nancy's Druzy pics. I'm just gonna show it to you like this. Wish I could show it to you, but I don't have a cameraman. I'm just gonna tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys, how much I do truly feel like we are a family. If there's ever anything you need, whether it just be a friend, a kind word, a thought of the day, please always think of us and think of you guys often. And we know what it feels like to feel isolated or feel like you just I'm not being understood sometimes. I mean, I think that's the beauty about beading is it is a commonality of people who appreciate making something with your hands and putting all of who you are to a piece. So don't forget, we are here for each other. You have a whole community. Um, if, you're, if you're new, join in. We have an Ohana on Facebook. We have our TVG.family community on Mighty Networks. That one's so fun. Now there's so many things to do, right? Not enough time, so don't waste it. You need a kind word. Clem, we love you. We're sending you aloha. And oh my gosh, sending a lot of creative vibes. When you guys are not feeling good, and you can't focus, sometimes just touch something and it reminds you of how much power you have, how much power we all have, right, inside of us. Okay, I'm gonna go work now. Maybe I'll see you guys tomorrow, maybe not, but I'll definitely see you next Saturday. And don't forget the beat job. Bye-bye.